Now the uh, other sensors are current sensors. Uh, so we need to control a motor or a micropower plant or any of systems that is electrical. The main issue is to control its current. So we need to sense it. We have different uh, sensors. You have old ones like the shunt resistors, but this one has not isolated ones and you cannot use them uh, nowadays. You have uh, current uh, AC transformers, like this one. Okay, but generally they are limited in the frequency, so they work between 40 and 65 uh, Hertz. Uh, so they cannot measure the uh, DC current, for example. And you have Rogowski coils, like this one, used for a very huge uh, current. But the main ones that are used are Hall effect sensors. And then you have LEM, which is a trademark that is very famous for this uh, current sensor. Okay, so let's see this Hall effect technology. You have the primary current. Then you have a core here, an iron core, with uh, wires around it. You have a Hall element here that is... Uh, Powered be the constant current here, the DC current, and uh, as you have this uh, turn N2 by I2 turns plus the N1, here you have N1 equal 1 turn with by A1, this will produce uh, an ammeter, uh, so it's a, a field, and it will be sensed here with a very very tiny uh, Hall effect sensor by producing a voltage so if there is an induction here it will produce a voltage and this voltage is proportional to this current and to this induction this uh, flux density but then it will be amplified and it will be re-injected here in the I2 since the main idea is to control this induction seen here as zero and if it is at zero, so you have no, no field here, it means that the I2 is totally compensating the I1 uh, in number of ampere turn. So uh, at this point, we have I2 equals to N1 on N2 by A1. So I2 is less, less of course, le uh, less uh, than I1 by uh, many uh, factors. Uh, so this galvanic isolation, because there is no electrical contact between the A1 and A2 circuits, uh, it's uh, very useful uh, when interfacing uh, power uh, devising to uh, microelectronics, and it can measure in continuous, in alternate current, and in instantaneous. So AC, DC, any, any kind of current. It will also uh, transform this current to a voltage. We can filter this voltage. Uh, so uh, this current I2, uh, how we sense it as voltage, we uh, put it through uh, uh, a measurement resistance, a very, very stable resistance. And then we have an image here as voltage of this current I2, and then, of course, of this primary current I1. So we take this voltage and we put it on an ADC, an electrical converter, and we are done. Uh, so, a uh, very old one is LA55 from LEM, but you find in terms of uh, uh, other stuff, here is the LA55 that I mounted here on a measurement board with uh, an op amp and filters here. So, at the end, you got uh, this op amp power, it's plus, plus 15 minus 15 volt. You put the current here, you get it out here, and you have a measurement that you can display on scope or enter on a DSP board. Now you have a very tiny uh, pieces uh, uh, like uh, this one, the AC758, 758. Uh, so this is one, uh, it's a lit little bit, uh, how do you say? The, the range is very, uh, it's from 50 to 200 amps, so it's it's more common for high, uh, high amps, and you have small ones. And this, what is interesting here is it is the signal is between zero and three point three volt. 
so you can put it on some small microcontrollers or Arduino for the voltage uh, sensor uh, it's based on the same technology exactly the same uh, the only difference is that you have to put some very big resistance here uh, on the uh, on the main circuit in order to have a primary current that is very low and then it's a little bit more expensive but it's okay and then you have also the isolation between the primary circuit and the secondary circuit and it goes up to uh, two, between 2 and 20 kilohertz of, uh, uh, of the, for the signal so you have to put them in a measurement board and I present you here the one that I used for a uh, double fed induction generator for a wind turbine so here we have two uh, current measurements uh, here they are just under test you can see it's the same current but and we have the DC voltage measurement DC bus and the two phases of the power grid uh, in order to sense uh, the zero crossing of the voltage to synchronize to the grid voltage in order to inject the active and the reactive power so I put this board on the in the box and you have here the current and the voltage and how we connect the output to the ADC of this D space okay all type of sensors are uh, flux density sensors or induction uh, sensors they are also based on Hall effect sensors but a little bit different here I present you some uh, SS40A these are uh, powered by 5 volts you have the ground and you have the signal so it gives you only 0 or 1 saying it is uh, seeing a north or it is seeing a south uh, permanent magnet and you must use them in uh, blush brushless DC motors like uh, this one this is a linear motor if you want to conduct some other type of uh, uh, of control like for example here do some magnetic levitation you need to know the linear variation uh, of the the field so positive or negative field this is in Gauss and it gives you a voltage around 2.5 volts if you have zero uh, flux density and if you have a positive one then it will came up to 4.5 volt if you have a negative so it's seeing a south it will go down to 0 0.5 volt so it's linear this is SS49 so these uh, Hall effect sensors can be used in uh, brushless DC motor control like for example for this uh, Honda inside car uh, you can see here the Hall effect sensor and the uh, difference between two is 120 degree so you have a third signal here because you need uh, at least three signals to get the six sectors the position of the motor uh, the rotor of the motor in uh, the six sectors and this is the um, the voltage issued by the uh, converter okay so in order to control this motor you need some voltage fed inverters this is very common in uh, for academic use which is called the semicon semitech it's 20 kilo volt ampere this is six igbt so we have three legs and you have the control the top one and the bottom one, the top two, and the bottom two, the top three, and the bottom three. And also a shopper here, uh, the control of a shopper on the uh, fourth leg. Uh, mainly this, you have to interface it if you want. Uh, there are new kind of inverters based on uh, uh, silicon carbine, uh, like uh, this one from Cree, uh, up to this one is for 50 amps and you need some special driver so this can be put on this board control uh, board directly and then you control it from your DSP